Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. Here at Heinbach Studio B, we have quite the collection of scientific research equipment, especially bandpass filters. Each of them was saved from ending up in a landfill and has been turned into a musical instrument. Their unique switched nature gives you a sound that's very different from what you find in normal studio equipment and is something that has been explored by many musicians from Stockhausen to Dub. One of my absolute favorites of the bunch is the Ellison Labs 2A filter. It sounds like no other studio equipment. It's also very rare, very heavy, very impractical. So I partnered up with AudioThing again to bring you Dials. Dials is not only a bandpass filter, it is an experimental channel strip with a preamp, compressor, modulation and a mixer section. It sounds great on almost anything, for example drums. But listen to what it does to a simple pulse signal. That preamp packs some oomph. Little wonder, since it's not really a preamp, but a converted Pegel sender, a level transmitter from the early 1960s. Rogelov Audio did a wonderful job turning this piece of German broadcast history into a mojo preamp. A curious side effect of its broadcast heritage is that it compresses the signal. For the plugin, we modeled and added control over the intensity and envelope of the compressor. It sounds especially good on voice and has become my go to voice over compressor. Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. In this video I want to show you a synthesizer that has just been discovered on the sunken continent of Atlantis. But it is evidence that even back in the day test equipment and synthesis mixed well. This conch shelled instrument provides deep insights into the history of music instrument design as we do it today. Muss ich denn, muss ich denn zum Städtele hinaus, Städtele hinaus und du, mein Schatz, bleibst hier. Wenn ich komm, wenn ich komm, wenn ich wieder, wieder komm, wieder, wieder komm, kehr ich ein, mein Schatz, bei dir. One thing I learned from working with test equipment is it is great to double or triple up. Every preamp on these research instruments adds something. We modeled that behavior with dials. When you are doubting your mix, just add more 
dials. The trip mode, with its various LFO shapes, turns dials into a beautiful Autovar style modulator. If you go beyond the trend paths, dials will reward you. Soul singer, musical innovator and podcaster Jamie Liddell created Dials 808. This is a free Ableton Live device that allows you to play 8 instances of dials like 808. Here is how it sounds in a mix. The drums and resonances in this track were created by dials and the piano and the masterbus were processed by it. Thanks to the mix knob, it is very well suited for parallel processing on the masterbus. I'm playing a live device that consists of eight instances of dials. I turned it into a fixed filter bank, a classic tool of early electronic music that turns a bit of white noise into something eerily beautiful. If you don't have Ableton Live, be assured we're working on new products that make this kind of experimentation a breeze. Now, there's something that I have to tell you. This Allison Labs is over 70 years old and the values that you see here, they don't really match up with what comes out of it. And as we try to fix that in the plugin, it didn't sound right. So we left the values as they were. It's best to let your ears be the judge instead of the numbers when using dials. But it's not science after all, it's music. All you think and me hope that you will enjoy dials. It is a wonderful thing to bring these pieces of history to life again and make them affordable to everyone. Speaking of which, dials is available now on intro offer for 49 dollars slash 49 euros before it goes up to regular price of 79 dollars and 79 euros. Euros. You can buy directly from audiothing.net or download the demo to see if it's your cup of tea. It is also available as part of the Heinbach bundle, which has all five plugins I made with Audiothing in one package. If you have any more questions, but no tech support, please put them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye. Good?